What's going on? It's Demon. You already know. And if you don't know already, the Miami Heat won the 2012 championship. And LeBron finally got a ring. It's about time. And maybe he'll go for multiple. But if he does go for multiple, KD is going to be right there with him trying to challenge him. Because, oh, to be honest, in my opinion, really no team is messing with the Heat and um, Thunder right now. I said that at the beginning of the season. The Heat and Thunder are really at the top. Not saying that another team can't come out of nowhere. You know, the Pacers are building something nice over there. And the Celtics are completely about to die out. This is probably their last run with uh, Ray Allen and Kevin Garnett being free agents. And even if they do somehow all come back together, they're old, <laughs> to be honest. But, so we'll have to see with that. But um, if you don't know, I originally had, well, even to this day, even tonight, I had OKC. Um, winning simply because they had a great team. They were playing great basketball compared to the Heat, in my opinion. They, OKC was playing great basketball pre-NBA Finals, you know. But the OKC Thunder that played the Heat in the Finals were not the OKC Thunder that played the Mavericks, Lakers, and Spurs. You know, Russell Westbrook. I, I just don't know about that dude, man. Like, he... He can be great, but his IQ, I think that's what it is. It's, he just needs to chill out and um, watch more tape over the offseason, I guess. And Kevin Durant, he's going to get his rings eventually, hopefully. We don't want him to be one of those great ringless players. I, I, I just don't see that happening to KD. But, um, yeah, shout out to the Thunder. They'll be back probably challenging the Heat in the finals for a while. Because, like I said, they run, they run the NBA right now. And shout out to LeBron James because it's about time. Really, his rings are overdue. And I just want to know, what are people going to hit on now? Like I said, I was kind of in the win-win situation because I wanted KD to win because he's one of my favorite players. I wanted LeBron to win so people stop hating on that man for no reason. People just completely deny his talent simply because he didn't have a ring. What are you going to say now? you just going to make jokes about his hairline? You know, it's all good, though. You know, Skip Bayless probably having a fit right now. Doesn't know what to do. Um, it is what it is. So, what are people going to hit on? You know, do y'all give him his respect? Because, like I said, I respect this game. If you're a basketball player, don't. If you're a basketball player and you say you don't respect his game, come on, son. You may not respect his actions and what he does off the court. But um, most of the things on the court, you have to respect. And really, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, he had to team up with D Wade and Chris Bosch in order to win the championship. No, <laughs> like, well, yes and no. Yes, he had to team up, but they really teamed up to beat Boston because Boston, they had the first bit three. You know, they had Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen. Nobody really hating on them for that. You know, people didn't go crazy. I know some people are like D-Way and LeBron are superstars, but come on, man. LeBron still did his thing, even with those people on his team. You know, LeBron is like the only person in the NBA. I saw a tweet earlier from my boy Chris. Shout out to Chris. I know he's going crazy right now, but... I know I saw a tweet from my boy Chris that said LeBron is the only person in the history of the NBA on um, postseason to have 650 points with 200 boards and 100 assists. No, um, LeBron James is balling this year, this whole year, especially this postseason. D Wade, I said this in my other video. Um, what the Heat, what the Heat would need to do in order to win the series, and I was basically right. I would say LeBron had to keep balling, which he did. Um, D Wade would have to. You no, know, come from hiding, which he did, because let's be real, in the rest of the postseasons, you know, versus the Pacers and the Celtics, D Wade was kind of not there until the second half. And I said Chris Bosher had to be uh, be playing well. You no, know, he played well. And the main point I wanted to focus on is that I said that the support players would have to step up. Because that was the main problem. Their support players missing those threes and stuff like that. Now, you seen Shane Battier was lights out. All right. Um, Mike Miller. Eh. No. This is Mike Miller. James Jones got some shots in. Norris Cole got some shots in. Mario Chalmers did his thing in a few games. Maybe one game. <laughs> you know. So, like I said, in a way, like I said, I was just giving it to OKC. Simply because at the time they had the better team. They were playing great basketball. And I wouldn't put it like it's OKC, right? Even tonight, I was like, man, Miami lose this game tonight. Um, OKC's going back home. 
Um, they might, the Heat might lose the series, but they closed it out. So basically, the question on this video is, what now? You know, will people still give LeBron his respect? I know in some ways the way he handled things um, with the decision and his his actions off the court is really what hurt him. You know, some of the things he says is messed up. Um, like. <laughs> Like when he was doing the not one, not two, not three, when he was do the, doing that speech, and then he said it's going to be easy, you know. But I think he learned that it wasn't easy at all. So, anyways, that's the end of this video. Um, if you're a Heat fan, enjoy it. You have all season until next year, which I don't know, man. I don't think that he have a dynasty. This is just my opinion. I don't think that he have a dynasty, but they could have one at the same time. You know, we'll have to see. And I also think KD. And them boys, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Serge Ibaka. I think they're going to be back. We just have to see. We also have to see what the Lakers do. So, anyways, you're a Heat fan. Enjoy it. Congratulations to the Miami Heat. And I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.